Hi everybody. Today, we're going to take a look at our newest content block, the pop-up. With pop-ups, you can present important information to your visitors by showing a little box on the screen based on a number of different conditions. Working with pop-ups is no different than working with content blocks. Let's go over to the WordPress dashboard to see how we can create a new pop-up. Navigate to the Bloxy menu, then Content Blocks. Click on the Add New button up top and a little window will appear letting you select the type of content block you wish to create. Let's select the pop-up template and give it a name. I have some content already prepared for this pop-up, but feel free to create anything you wish. As usual, our pop-up block supports any type of content you might want to add inside the Gutenberg editor. Once we're happy with our content, let's check out the customization options. First off, we have the pop-up position. You have nine options here, letting you display the pop-up in any place you might want. I'll pick the bottom right position for this one. Next up are the pop-up size controls. We're offering three predefined sizes, but of course you can easily choose a custom size, which will let you define the size you wish, including device specific sizes. Choose the medium size for now. Continue on with the pop-up animation options. Here we have a few basic options, such as fade in or out, or a zoom effect. There's also a beautiful slide effect, which lets you display the pop-up as coming from any direction of the screen. Let's move on to the trigger condition options. Here we have some interesting settings that you can choose from. The first option, on scroll, will display the pop-up based on the user's scrolling interaction. You can choose either when the user scrolls down the page or upwards, and even set the number of pixels the page has to travel before the pop-up displays. The second option is pretty self-explanatory. It will display the pop-up as soon as the page is done loading. Next, we have the After Inactivity setting, which will display the pop-up if the browser detects there has been no activity from the user in the past few seconds, which you can set to your liking. After X time will display the pop-up after a number of seconds have passed. This will ignore any type of interaction from the user and will display the pop-up no matter what after the duration has passed. The last option is pretty interesting. On-page exit intent will detect if the user tries to leave the web page and display the pop-up as soon as the mouse cursor leaves the web page viewport. Useful in case you want to retain the visitors more on your website. Continuing, we have our usual options of display and user conditions. If you wish to find out more about these, there's a handy video linked inside the description. Let's go and check out the design tab. We have our assortment of options here, such as padding for the pop-up box, border radius, which will let you round the corners of the box to the percentage you wish, and a simple shadow control. The pop-up offset setting will let you specify the amount of space you wish to have between the box and the browser edges. This will only work if you do not use the center alignment option. The options for the close button are pretty easy to understand. You have none, which will make the pop-up not able to be closed, useful in case you wish to present something non-intrusive to your users. The inside option will place the close button inside the box for a more consistent look, or the outside option, which will let you display the close button in the corner of the pop-up. As usual, you also have color controls for the close icon. Last but not least, we have color controls for the pop-up background and backdrop background, which is useful if you wish to black out the content on the screen to fully direct the user's attention to the pop-up box. On a side note, the buttons that you can add inside the header or footer can also trigger this pop-up on click. Very useful if you'd like to present something like a registration form to your users. And wait, there's more. You can even trigger the pop-up from the actual content section of your pages. To do this, you can easily take the code shown inside the content blocks pane and add it to the selected element inside the content of your pages or posts Let's take one final look at the front end to see how the pop-up looks like. Pretty neat. 
We hope this new type of content block will give you more flexibility in designing your websites, giving you a one-up over other products by integrating powerful marketing features right inside Bloxy. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out via our support system on creativethemes.com. Thank you and take care.